I'm not sure that uh, there's a, a simple answer in terms of too much, too little. I think rather, though, we should step back and think about why so many political questions are being framed in terms of religion. And um, one, I mean, something I mentioned earlier in the conference that really struck me was that the controversies around the hijab, the headscarf, in Europe and in Turkey, I think they occupy an analogous position to the way this battles over abortion, the place that that occupies in the United States. And in both cases, you have, as you suggested, a kind of media spectacle around these issues. And they're framed in very polarizing ways. Everyone has to say, are you for or are you against? And um, they have a way of, I think, sucking up all the oxygen in the atmosphere so that it becomes very difficult to talk about other questions. The feminist movement in the United States was kind of tied up in knots for a decade um, because they were constantly forced to focus on this issue and this issue alone. And so all sorts of other uh, things dropped out. Plus, it was treated as a values issue and in part as a religious issue. Whereas um, all of the other aspects about social rights, health care, uh, what are the conditions, um, the entitlements that one needs in order to make having a child or not having a child a real choice, all of those dimensions, again, structural dimensions, were kind of wiped out in this intense focus on values, values. I think something like similar is going on with the hijab, uh, as I understand that uh, struggle in France, and I, I don't follow it in Germany as closely, or, and here. Part of what's going on is that the, the religious, the politicization of religion is serving um, in this kind of spectacular way. Um, that's not to say that religious questions don't have their own seriousness and importance and that for religious people they are uh, paramount and, there are, and it's not to say that there aren't hard questions about how liberal democratic societies should deal with or religious minorities and so on and so forth. But um, more interesting to me as a critical theorist is um, the why so many uh, claims and social struggles are being articulated, waged in the idiom of religion, in the language of religion. And I would say that one uh, reason um, has got to be the decline, destruction, evaporation of um, other forms of utopian movements that people, uh, other languages that used to be available for people to protest and, and claim for a different, better form of life. So obviously the collapse of, of socialism, the collapse of a certain kind of utopian feminism, not just a straight liberal political feminism, but one that actually envisioned a whole different way of organizing uh, care and its relation to employment and so on. Um, we, we don't, um, in, in many parts of the world, um, well, not everywhere in the world, um, you know, we're living in a time of, of a kind of decimation of left-wing utopian thought. So my thought is that um, that the tendency, the one tendency in, among many people, including some at this conference, has to try to has been to try to construct um, an argument about liberal democracy versus fundamentalism or something like that. From my point of view, these things are not on the same level. Liberal democracy is a kind of meta regime. How are you going to regulate the differences? But many forms of religiosity actually offer people something bigger, some set of meanings, some uh, forms of life. Liberal democracy and does not, at present anyway, offer that. So my real question is where are the secular um, views that could actually be really a rival to religion? In the Arab world, you, the young people who are smart, um, critical, tough-minded, rebellious, 
who are probably, in, in that sense, you know, like I would like to uh, remember I was uh, when I was, you know, a, a university student way back when. You know, 40 years ago, those people would have been in secular anti-imperialist socialist movements. Today, those movements don't exist. They go where there is something that gives expression to their legitimate anger and grievances about the uh, world they live in.